Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. I had a recent request from someone as to how to do multiple data validations in one cell. And basically what they wanted to do is set up uh, a data validation that would give an error to their user when it didn't meet several different criteria or any of the several different criteria. So in order, uh, in, in the process of, of setting this up and figuring it out, I learned a couple things along the way and I thought I'd share them with you in this blog post. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have an area here from cell H2 down to cell H21 that I want to be able to enter numbers in. But they must meet three different criteria. They have to be a whole number, they must be greater than zero, and they can't equal the number directly above it. So how do we accomplish this with data validation? Well, first let's break down what we're trying to accomplish. So the number must be a whole number. So what's a formula that will allow us to verify that? Well, we're going to use the mod function. We're going to say equals mod. Now mod returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So I'm going to hit tab. My number is going to be in H2. And my divisor is 1. And I want to say that that equals 0. So if I hit enter, there's my formula. Mod H2, 1 equals 0. So if this is a 5, it's true. If this is a negative 4, it's also true. But if it's a 2.3, notice it turns to false because the remainder of that dividing 2.3 by 1 would be a 0.3. And so that would give me a false response. It must be greater than 0. So that one's pretty simple. I'm just going to say equals H2 is greater than 0. And in this case, that's true. If it was a whole number, that would be true. If it was a negative 3, again, I would get a false. That's a whole number, so my first criteria is true, but my second one turned out to be false because it is not greater than 0. The third criteria is it can't equal the number directly above it. So in this case, I want to say equals H2 is does not equal H1. And I'll hit enter with that. In this case, it's true because a blank here does not equal the text list. If I have an 8 here, again, now everything is true. But if I had a number 8 up here, notice I would get a false because the number in H2 does equal the number above it. So I'm going to hit Control-Z to undo that. So there's the three criteria here. Now, how do we combine this into one formula to analyze the data that we're going to put into our list here? We're going to use the AND formula to accomplish that. So I'm going to say equals AND, and it checks whether all the arguments are true and returns true if they are or returns false if any one of them is not. So I'm going to hit tab, and I'll just build into that my three logical formulas. So the first one is mod h2 comma 1 close parentheses equals 0 that's my first one my second one is h2 is greater than 0 and my third one is h2 does not equal h1 close that all out hit enter and notice because all three of these are true I get a true if any one of these is false, I put a minus 4 here. Notice I have true for the first and third criteria, but false for the second. So that gives me a false here. So if I enter this formula in data validation for my cells H2 to H21, it should prohibit someone from entering something that's not a whole number, that's less than 0, or less than or equal to 0, and it would prohibit someone from entering something that's equal to the number above. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. The first thing I want to do is I want to copy my formula here. So I'm going to hit control C and enter. Then I'm going to highlight the area I want to put my data validation in. I'll go to data, data validation. I'm going to select custom and I'm going to enter the formula that we've just created. And now I'll say okay. 
So now, if I go to enter a number 5 here, no problem. If I enter a number negative 4 here, it will not allow me because that violates one of our three criteria. Let's say I want to enter a number 2.3. Again, that violates the criteria. Or if I enter a number 5, because it's the same as the number above, all three of those violate the criteria, so I'm getting an error message. One minor thing that you need to be aware of, let's say I go down one cell and enter a negative 4. It allows that. The reason is because if I highlight my group here and go back to data validation, there's a box here that says ignore blank. And we don't want to ignore blanks. We want Excel to take into account any blank cells that we have in here. So I'm going to uncheck that and say OK. And now, if I go ahead and try to enter a negative 4 when there's a blank above, it will now give me an error message as I would have anticipated and wanted it to be. And that's how we accomplish this in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.